My name is Scott Lokers. I'm the Transition Ministry Catalyst for Luminix. I want to invite you uh, to think about managing our own anxiety, learning to, to grow in that skill of managing our anxiety as leaders. Leadership is difficult and what often happens is our anxiety level will go up in different situations as we lead. One of the big challenges of that is uh, scientists have studied that and uh, tell us as anxiety level rises, our thinking moves from the front part of our brain, which controls creative thinking and where we're thinking about solutions, to the back part of our brain where we simply respond without thinking. There's a reason for that. God wires that way because if we're in a, a true fight or flight kind of situation, a crisis, we don't want to have to think through everything. But if we're trying to lead, if we're trying to get a, to a creative solution, it's difficult as our anxiety level is rising. People who study such things from a systems perspective would say that we can uh, there are some predictable responses that we make as anxiety rises. It doesn't really depend so much on the content or the situation of what we're dealing with, but there are some things that we tend to do. And I want to invite you to see if you recognize yourself in these kinds of situations. So I'm leading, I'm getting anxious. One of the things I might do is move towards someone or move toward conflict. So let's say we're in a conversation, you and I, and I get the sense this isn't going well and I'm getting anxious about our conversation. I might move toward you in terms of trying to get you to see it the way I see it. I might try to persuade you and then move on to conflict. Or I might do the opposite. I might move away. We're in this conversation. It's not going well. I might put up barriers or I might withdraw emotionally or I might even just move away from you and not want to see you anymore because when I see you, then I'm anxious. We move toward, we move away. We might over function or under function. So I'm leading in a certain situation and um, the process breaks down, I get anxious. One of my responses could be I would rush in and over function, do things that are not my job, not my responsibility, trying to take over so that it's under control and my anxiety level goes down. Or I might do the opposite. I might under function. It's not going well, I'll just withdraw and not do the things that are my responsibility, not fulfill my role. And the last thing we could do, uh, kind of a predictive behavior on our part, is to triangle. You and I are in a conversation, and I don't like what you're saying, and instead of dealing with you directly, which is what the Bible calls us to do, what Jesus asks us to do, if we're in a relationship that's not right, that we deal with that person directly. Instead of doing that, I talk to someone else about you. I start to complain about you and get that person on my side as a way to reduce my anxiety. So why would this be important? Can you see yourself here? And why would that be important to see yourself? Well, in the next um, whiteboard, I wanna go more into depth about how do we deal with this? Uh, what kinds of things can we do? But for now, in terms of offering some hope, I just wanna say if we can see ourselves, we can begin to make some decisions to act differently. So an example, I realize that my default, as my anxiety level goes up, I have a tendency to distance and to under function. So knowing that about myself, as I'm feeling myself get anxious, one of the first questions I've learned to ask myself, where do I need to get into action? Where do I need to be doing something, not withdrawing, but where do I need to get into action to do the things God is asking me to do, to lead in the way God wants me to lead? Thanks.